Oh, uh, I have some questions about display calibration. This is so dumb. And just color, and just, uh, this is one of hundreds of questions, but let's just, let's just start, let's just start at one. This doesn't make any sense. This is the Philips 4K something or other monitor. It's HDR, okay? HDR. When I use display cal and the color monkey something or other, spectra, uh, sorry, spectra cal thingy to calibrate it, notice how it's like picking stuff up, it says that it wants basically 400, I think that's candela per meter squared. And I haven't fixed the greens, I, I already calibrated this, but whatever. However, if I take this off and I put it onto pure white, you guys, pure white on another monitor, then it's like, oh, that's not good enough. You're only giving us 200 candela per meter squared. See that? But in fact, when I calibrated this monitor, it said, oh yeah, 200 is perfectly fine. Because, like, it makes sense. This one, the LG 31MU 97-B, is not an HDR monitor. It can't get that bright. This one is brighter than that one. But I thought, oh, this is so annoying. I thought, you guys, that the whole point of CIE lab color is to standardize color. So if 100 is always just however bright your monitor can get, then guess what? These colors are not going to be the same. <laughs> like this, they're... Ugh. They're so much more vivid on this monitor than they are on this monitor. You can't really tell, um, but trust me, that's the way that it is. So like, you guys, like this just, I don't get it. I don't understand. CIE Lab, it's just, it's just, yeah, this article has multiple issues. Yeah, you, you better believe it. Nobody understands this stuff. Do you understand this stuff? Tell me, what, what's, what's up? Because, because, okay, 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 here's, here's the point, here's the point. You want to get you know, the point? These, these guys say, this monitor here has 100% coverage of BT709, which is, by the way, the exact same thing as Rec709, which has the exact same chromaticities, that's the triangle tips, as sRGB and the exact same white point, D65, okay? 100% coverage. This monitor over here, oh, guess what? Guess what? This monitor has 99.5% coverage of Adobe RGB. Adobe RGB, which is much larger than sRGB. So this monitor is good. It's good to go. Of course, when I measure it with the display thingy, it says that it's only like... 80% sRGB, but I don't know. I think maybe this thing is broken. It, it, it doesn't matter. The point is, like, why, why is this treating sRGB as being so much brighter than this monitor treats it? I thought these were absolute, absolute measurements, but apparently they're not. What is Lab 100? Like, really, what is it? It seems like it depends on your monitor. It depends on the white point that you choose. Oh, I could go with D65, or I could go with something else. It doesn't matter. Tell me what you think. I don't know.